Hi, it's Lena here from Lens Crafty Life and I just wanted to share with you what I made for Siobhan from Pearl and Button. She's having a, a challenge, a 400 subby challenge at the moment and what she's asking for is to make some tags so she can store her nice um, ribbons on there and laces. So I will show you first the tag. She's also asking for some stick pins, so I made some as well. But let's start with the tags. Now, when I was making these tags, I just went through my stash of paper and I found this. And I thought I just have to use this for Siobhan because I know she loves poodles. She had a poodle, I think a while back, not sure how long ago, but she had one and she really loves poodles. So this was the paper already with the poodle on there and the little picture of the other little doggy as well. And at the bottom of the paper... They had these Westies and now in one of her other recent videos she apparently got a package with some Westie tape. I don't remember anymore who the package was by or from but she said that she at this moment she has a Westie. At least one. I think she has an underdog as well. But uh, and I had already made this tag. So um, this was the bottom of this same paper. I did have to cut it off because it was too long, but I stuck it back on there again. So you have something nice to watch at the top and the bottom while the laces and the ribbons go in the middle, obviously. So I took some cardboard, put the paper on. I have the same paper on the back. I went around it so I, I couldn't cut off like make it like tag size because or the, the shape of a tag because I would cut off the little doggy so I kept it in this rectangular shape and put some uh, of this well it's kind of a rounded ribbon all the way around it to just finish off the edges nicely then I put on some rig rack white rig rack again on the front and on the back and I used very small little flowers that I got in my own challenge that's still going at the moment till the end of the month February I got this little flowers from Liquida from Pampered Petals and I cut out the center part and made them a little bit smaller I had to cut out three of the little petals to just finish off the hole uh, that I put through this tag in a nice way so I got those on the front and on the back and then I put uh, some little roses here now the white one already had the, gra the green little leaves on the back so I thought they looked really cute and I put some pink and white lace through the little hole to just finish it off so Siobhan I hope you like this one and this is my second tag. So these are the larger tags. She asked for either larger tags or smaller tags. So these are the, the two larger ones that I made. I also made two smaller ones. So we'll get to that after this. And I also had this very cute paper in my stash. So again, I didn't cut off the corners to make it a tag shape because I had cut off the pretty flower. And I wanted that. It was on top of the paper. So I wanted it on top of the tag so she can see it when the laces are wrapped around this. So again, I basically did the same. This is the same paper, but a different sheet. And I used uh, the left part. So this is the, the right part of the paper. This is the left part of the paper. And it had this pretty image of the bird in a nest and a butterfly. And again, you could possibly see that depending on how much put you put on here um, so you may not want to cover it up and or you may but uh, again it's at the bottom so you could possibly see it when the lace is on there so I put the same kind of rounded ribbon around it and the rig rack to finish off the the sides now I did put a little flower again that I got from Liquita on here I did not put it on the front on purpose because when I tried it was too large too wide and it covered up the head of the little bird so I left this one just empty but I put a little doily that I got from Julie Derry again for my challenge put it on here and some other little roses that pick up the colors of the images and again I put the same white and pink lace through the little hole of the tag so that's tag number two and then I also made two smaller ones 
and she said I had a shabby chic style or vintage so the larger ones are more like shabby chic and for the smaller ones I went for a vintage style and this was my first time ever making something vintagey so I really like doing that I had this paper in my stash and this is actually one piece of paper that goes all the way around so it has these beautiful flowers on it the bird and the bird cage bird looks like he's just returning to the bird cage apparently he likes it in there so that's good door is open so he's free to go in and out i put on this little butterfly that i had in my stash and um again the little flower that i put on front and back this is different lace more like a vintage tea dyed color now i didn't dye this myself i i got it like this it has these tiny little flowers on it which i think are very cute i put a small piece of bling and for the first time ever yay i used a button on my projects so a little button i put some well we call it raffia i'm not sure what you call it raffia <laughs> it's not fabric it's it's like a very light wicker strand that you can i pushed through it and i made a little bow and i popped that on there which i thought looked really cute so that's tag number three and then the last tag tag number four again in a vintage style i had this paper again with a beautiful uh like a poppy maybe it looks a bit like a himalayan poppy and again the paper goes all the way through here on the back with the butterflies which I thought was very pretty. Again, the little flowers from Laquita I put on there. Oh, and the, both these tags, I went around it, I inked the edges with some, I think it was antique, yeah, antique linen from Tim Holtz, like a, a stain, a distress stain. I uh, went around these two. Again, I basically did the same on the top as I did here, but the only thing that's different is the image. So that's for the the tags that I made and then for the stick pins first one I made this one which I think is really really gorgeous I'd never made stick pins yet so this is the very first I made and this again is the, this top one is like a flower shaped um, well it's not a bead but anyway it's a flower shape and there was like a little hole in it already and I got that recently from Laquita as well in my challenge and it's really gorgeous and I had these longer stick pins in my stash bought those a while back but I hadn't used them yet and they had the pearls on there already and then I put like this uh, oh bead cap sorry I just have to learn all these names in English uh, a bead cap on there I had this little heart um, bead in there this is a mm, what do you call it I know it I know it starts with an R um, 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 hmm, okay, it will, it will get to me. I know it starts with an R. I usually, when I don't know something, I just remember the first letter. Ah, well, anyway, then this glass little bead I put there. And then this is another kind of spacer or divider. Another little bead, this one has two colors. It's like clear and pink hope I'm sharp and another little bead cap rondelle isn't it a rondelle is that isn't that the word I think you call it a rondelle so that's the first one that I made then I decided to use another one another stick pin or pin that I had with a little heart already on it which is very cute I think but it's quite a bit smaller than this one which I hadn't realized until I actually started making it but so you have a larger one and you have a smaller one I put on well I'll call it a rondelle I think it's called a rondelle so I put on the rondelle I hope I'm in focus I put the rondelle on there then a blue bead because I know she likes pink and I know she likes soft blue again with the um, uh, the bead cap again a little glass bead and another little uh, bead cap on there and then since this one was quite small I was like hmm it's very small it's cute but small so I thought let's make another one so I went for another pastel color I used a larger pin again that I had in my stash and I also had these they are acrylic flowers in my stash 
so put that on there it's quite large then again the uh, spacer the uh, this is an acrylic bead but it's still quite shiny the rondelle and I thought let's put a dangle on there I'd seen that somewhere that some ladies did that and I thought it's really cute so there's a little purple heart on there a clear glass bead and another spacer on the end so those are the three um, stick pins that I made for Siobhan as well so Siobhan I hope you like it I hope to send it off to you today so probably end of the week you may receive it so anyway thanks for watching and uh, have a great day and see you next time okay bye bye